Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Nintendo Popeye Arcade. No, it's not broken, at least not yet. But what we're going to do is install the High Score Save Kit from HighScoreSaves.com, which is a, a variation of the Braze High Score Save Kit. And uh, this is what it looks like here. Let's see, maybe. There we go. That's what it looks like, so we're going to install that. We do have to move our CPU over, but it's actually a pretty quick and easy job. There's nothing to desolder here. We'll just drop this in with the, new, uh, with the CPU on it, and we should be good to go. So first thing you're going to need to do is take that PCB out, and I've already done that, but yep, it's out. So you undo that door there, and then you're going to go ahead and slide it out. There is a cable that connects to the edge connector on these boards. Let me show you just so you know as I run into everything because that's what we do here. So this is the filter board that's there and on the back side, just in case you've never seen this before, is the cable that attaches to it. You don't need to have this board there. A lot of times this board is not working or somehow inhibits everything. So this cable here this harness here just gets plugged right into the board and that is fine to do. Um, and oftentimes these things are just completely missing anyway, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the board now and install that high score save kit. So before we get started, we should probably figure out where everything is on this board in case you have never looked at one of these boards before. On this side, we have the CPU board and we can see that it says CPU right there on the edge and it is upside down, but it says CPU right there. So that's how we know we are looking at the CPU board. And if we flip it over to the other side, you have your video board. And yes, it does say video right over here. There it is, video. And then in case you hear people talking about different parts of it, here's your, your rainbow cable. And you've got some ribbon cables there in the back, as well as some uh, EEPROMs there. But the main program ROMs are on this side, and those are the chips that you can remove after you install your high score save kit, should you want to, to save them or reuse them for something else. In this case, I'm actually gonna leave them in there. I do know that they're working, so I'm just gonna leave them there for now. But we also need to know where our CPU is on the CPU board so that we can remove it. But when we find our CPU, we also need to note its orientation and the direction it's pointing. So if we take a look, there is our CPU. And you see that little dot, that little dot right there? That dot indicates pin one. So that pin one is in the, the far upper right corner there. And that's important to recognize when we are looking over here at our high score safe kit. And our pin one is also, it's labeled here, it says pin one, and it's that top pin on the left there. So when we transfer over our chip, we just need to make sure that everything lines up. And then when we put this in, everything will be lined up again as well. So that is kind of how this works. Now we're just gonna go ahead and remove the CPU and we'll take the CPU and we'll put it in over here. Pop that board in and we're done. So now let's go ahead and we're going to remove that CPU. We're remembering its orientation there with that little dot in the corner. I like to just come in uh, with a small little flathead screwdriver, but if you are doing that, please be careful. What you don't wanna do is come in and go down way underneath because what ha could happen is if you slip, you could scratch these traces here. So you do wanna be careful. Go closer to the legs. It's a nice, easy way to do it. We'll just go ahead and we'll come in. I like to work both sides if I can to avoid bending any legs. There we go. So our CPU is out. We kept in its orientation. This one's nice because it does have you know some plastic in there. So if you do slip, ideally, you're not going to mess anything up. So let's go ahead and now put that into the high score save kit. So here's our chip. We'll just take a look at it real quick just so we know what we're looking at. This is a Z80A CPU by Sharp. We're gonna make sure that our pin one, which is this little round circle here on the bottom left, matches up with pin one over here. So we do need to make sure that it is oriented the correct way. I do like to make sure that my legs are nice and straight after I take it off. And you may need to clean up some of the legs if they're not shiny like this. If they are a little black or anything, you may want to clean that up lightly. And I'll make sure you have a nice good contact. I'm actually going to leave the styrofoam on the back of this that it's shipped with to help protect the legs 
for this. But now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to drop this in, make sure everything lines up. Make sure our chip lines up. And, uh, you know, this is much easier to do when you don't have to hold it in front of a camera. So I'm going to go ahead and move this so I can see it. So sometimes it is tricky making sure all of your pins are lined up because if they're not lined up and you go to push it in, you could bend a leg. So I like to try to make sure everything's lined up and before I give it that final push and you could kind of look and make sure that everything is going into place. Um, you know, normally it's not that big a deal if you bend it out, but there we go. Yep, now that is in. I do like to double check my work and make sure that circle there right there is matching up with where it says pin one should be so it is we're good i also do like to check make sure that all the other chips are plugged in the correct direction we've got the little notch here which is indicated here by that dot sometimes there's an actual notch on this chip like there is there this one is good and let's see the other ones also look like they're in good good shape there So now we're going to go ahead and we'll put this in. When we take the styrofoam off, I like to check to make sure all my legs are straight. Sometimes, you know, things happen in shipping and manufacturing. We just want to make sure everything's good. And then now, very gently, we've got to make sure that we have our pin one here. That helps us indicate where pin one is. And if you recall, we'll go ahead and move over to the other one. If you take a look, remember we have our notch here, which indicates it should be oriented in that direction. And we do have, you know, our dot, you know, here in this corner. So we're going to make sure that when we put that in, it was in the upper right-hand corner. We will make sure that it continues to be in the upper right-hand corner. We're just going to go ahead and we'll line this up the best we can. And again, much easier to do when there's not a camera in the way. I like to look at it from all angles to make sure that it is where it needs to be before we give it a push down. I think we're good. And then at that point, we can just go ahead and push this in. And that's it. It's done. So we've gone ahead and we've installed it. Let's check our work. We pushed it in. I like to make sure that everything is good. We'll zoom out for this. There we go. So I like to check and make sure that everything's sit seated properly. Um, kind of hard to see in there, but we do like to make sure that no legs are sticking out, bent, anything like that. So I think we are go in good shape. So now all we have to do is take this and put it back in, and then we've got free play. And I think this game will get played a little bit more. When I've got little kids down here, well, my kids, because that's all that are coming down right now, makes it so much easier if they can just want, run up and, and start a game versus, you know, finding a quarter or open, having me open up the coin door and put some credits in. And then, you know, it sits on that static screen forever, and da 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 da, da. So this will be working. This will work well, and maybe I'll get some high scores that are worthy of saving. So let's go ahead and put this back in the game. So let's go ahead and put that board back in. Slide this into its spot here. goes in like that then we have our filter board here that we're going to plug back in so there's the edge for that and then at the very end we'll go ahead and screw that in do like to make sure that everything is working first but it'll go in just like that 
but I'm going to leave this out just in case something doesn't work. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it does. And I think we need to push one right away. Yep. Push number, push your player one start right away, and you'll enter this setup screen. And then you can go through and you can change by hitting the player one button how many lives and things like that you want. So I'm going to put on three lives, I think. And we'll go down to the next one. We'll say uh, easy, medium, hardest. Ooh, let's just, <laughs> let's do easy for now, and we'll change it. Let's see, 40,000 points, sure. Upright. No, oh, attract sounds on, off, on. Sure, we'll do on for now. Free play, yep. See so if we go up to free play, what are the other choices? Oh, one coin, six credits, five credits, four, three, two, one. Okay, and we want it on free play. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there it is. All right, Nintendo. Company Limited, Nintendo, Nintendo of America, we'll do, I think we'll do Nintendo, Company Limited. Save scores, we'll do all of them. I gotta fix some of these buttons. Oh, I didn't want to back up the scores. I accidentally backed them up. Sure. I'm just gonna check the rest of the setup here. I think we're good. Nothing else that we rest back up, restore, high score table to default, dips to default, boot to men boot up menu. Oh, so if I turn on all the games and I'm sitting here, it'll boot to that menu and I can have it, you know, have somebody sitting here and hit the, the one button. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm still going to figure out what that reset button. No, we're not online. Oh, no, we're not off. Yes. No, I don't want, nope. I think I got a sticky button. Yeah, my player one button is sticky. All right. There we go. Oh, release. Oh, my button is sticky. Things to fix today, and the joystick is sticky too. Nope, don't push start. There we go. There we are, we're in. And the scores I can actually beat. That's great. Ooh, I need to turn down the volume too. It's a little bit loud. I should do that now while I have it open. But, all right guys. There you go. That is the high score safe kit installed on the Popeye arcade machine. If you got any questions or comments or Tim, you're horrible at this, stop doing it. Let me know. Well, don't let me know that. I'll cry or something, but there you go. That's, that's the idea of it. Should we play a game? Maybe we'll play a game. So remember how I said I was going to adjust the volume? Well, to adjust the volume on most Nintendo arcade cabinets like Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., 3, uh, I believe it's 3 as well, uh, you know, Popeye, things like that. Remember, the audio amp is with the monitor here, and I kind of have a light shining in that general location. And, and if it's a horizontally mounted game, such as Popeye, it's kind of hard to get to, but Donkey Kong... Junior and all, uh, you know, Donkey Kong 3 or whatever, those are vertical, so we should be easier to access, and it would be like in this area here. But we're going to look for, we're going to come in, maybe, see if I can just, you know, reach my hand in there for now. So it is, let's see, this last pot. You see that? You can't see that. Too many things in the way. Hold on, let me get a better angle here. So it's in the back. And it is this last pot right here. This is the one that you will turn ever so slightly to adjust the volume. We'll see if the, the track sound comes on again while I'm doing this and I can adjust it. But it is this pot right here. It's the very last one closest to the board here. 
that you need to adjust. I'm just waiting for some sound. Make some sound. Do it. Do it now. Oh, and then, you know, it does tell you that there is like a little sticker uh, oh, over here that tells you that. Oh, we gotta get it. Too much. Too loud. We'll go like that. All right, but there you go. That's how you adjust the sound volume on here. Maybe now we'll play a game and not blow out our eardrums. All right, we've put our done a game. It saved it. We shut it off, turned it back on. It still says my lousy score of six thousand four hundred and fifty up there. So now we're gonna we're gonna try it out. So we'll hit player one start. I fixed the sticky button and the, the joystick that wasn't really holding or it was like lagging behind. It was just dirty. So we'll go ahead and we'll we'll see if we can catch some hearts here. There's one. I think you get more points for the hearts, the higher they you catch them. Five hundred. Ooh, five hundred because of maybe it was a jump? Who knows? And we get some we get some spinach here. Stops all the hearts and we can go over and Knock Brutus out. And you get to run a little bit faster as well. Woof! Watch out for the witch. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Run! And Brutus gets a little bit faster and smarter. There we go, we did it! And you can actually punch that bucket and it'll drop on his head. No, we made it to the next level. We get to put a good score up. Okay, we gotta catch the music notes this time. Take that one. And that one. Oh, whoop. Sometimes I hit the punch button thinking I can jump, but I can't. You can jump down. Ooh. Now Brutus jumps, flies back up. There we go. Splash. Oh, this is a lot easier on easy. We did put it on easy. I don't know what my dip switch settings were before, but I don't normally get this far. This is making me look really good. Let's just hop back up to the top. Boink. Uh-oh, gotta get it. Quick, quick, quick. We got them all. Man, easy is the way to go on this game. I will change the settings though, I think. Oh no. I don't think I've ever, ooh, you can punch those, that's good. Help. Those fall quick. Do I want this? Not yet. Oh, watch out for Brutus. He's there. I don't know how long we need to... We gotta get help. I don't know. Do we have to do it in order? Maybe H. Oh, maybe we need to do it in order. I've never really made it past this because it's... Oh, and I'm not going to today either. But I guess I need to get it in order is my guess.
Somebody will tell me you're wrong, but hey, we got our name up here again. I'm gonna leave it on easy, and then I'll move the difficulty up. One of the advantages of the, the high score save kit, very easy to change the dip switch settings when it's in the lineup. Here we go. A lousy score on easy. But there you go, guys. If you have any questions about the uh, high score save kit and installing it, please feel free to let me know. I appreciate any sort of feedback that you guys do give me. And um, thanks again for watching. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Have a good one. Take it easy.